Why do you think it is important to teach children science at such a young age? Uh, the expression such a young age is uh, one I'd like you to think about it. We have very compelling evidence that 10 years old is the oldest you can be to get what people call the lifelong passion for science. And I personally, I suspect it's the oldest you can be to get the lifelong passion for anything. And um, I ask all of you as journalists, I mean, when did you like to tell stories? I'll bet it was a long time ago. I'll bet it was before you were out of fourth grade, certainly before you were out of elementary school. Uh, you know, if it's not 10 years old, it's 11 or something. It's not 17 for sure. So the Science Guy show was aimed at people who are 10 years old and younger. But 10 years old turns out to be a pretty good level for everybody. As I say, the difference between a 10 year old and a grown up is mostly life experience. By the time you're 10 or say 13, you can reason pretty well. It's just you don't have the life experience. Uh, have the judgment that grown-ups have, for example. But uh, with all that said, uh, we focus the show on so-called pure science, and it has stood the test of time as a result. I mean, people still watch it in elementary school 20 years later. It's very gratifying. Mm -hmm.